today is Biomagic Day. Magical day. This is actually my very old bottle and I did break it so we have a bit of sticky tape over the top because it was a little bit too squishy when I tried to undo it one time. Anyway, today we're going to do Biomagic. Um, energizing facial mask. Um, apply Biomagic mask in a thin layer to the face, neck and decolletage. Allow the mask to act for 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse with tepid water. Avoid your eye and mucous membranes. So basically everything is to avoid this except for the contour cream which is for the eyes and lips. Um, Alright, let's apply. I've also realized in this week of applying masks that having long hair is very annoying so Perhaps before my seven days is up, I'm gonna get a haircut. It's too long. You know, it's all up in a little ball, but yeah. Especially in the hot weather. So my rash is much better since using the amber oil. Um, and then I think also the Musk Vivant helped to just um, dry it up and quickly go. And then the um, the amber oil just stops it from drying out the skin at all, um, which is extremely necessary because I haven't had the amber oil before, and it was just a constant too dry, not dry enough, too dry, not dry enough. And now it's that I can apply the the dryness uh, formulas, and then it's balanced. So pretty happy with this combination. And that's a thin layer. Now this one gets really hard, firm. It's not like the Mask V IPO2 where it just stays in moisture. Um, this one, yeah, it's going to get pretty stiff. So I, I tend to leave it for 15 minutes maximum and then I just take it off because it gets very uncomfortable. I'm like, ooh, can't move. Yeah. Anyway, just a thin layer. Over. It's supposed to re regen. Wait, what did I say? Energize. Yes, energizing. So regenerate in a way. So just a little bit over. Actually, that was about five minutes and I feel like I've had a facelift so I'm gonna wash it off um, there's not really much I can do <laughs> using a sponge again circular motions Oh, and these things don't actually last that long. You can see mine's kind of already pulling apart. Um, so I guess I'll need to start using that side more often. Um, we're gonna put this on the eyes. <laughs> Sorry, that's my cat. Um, eyes and lips. And I like to put them on first before the serums because um, there is potential for it to say go on the wrong area and you don't want to like cross contaminate basically so we do this first because it's all clean um, right so we're going to open this one plant derived Squaline, squal squaline, squaline. <laughs> Sorry, these are new words for me as well. 100% plant derived, a lightweight plant derived solution to support healthy hydration. Apply a few drops daily or as needed to entire face, ideally after water based treatment. Okay, so we just use our little dropper again. Cosmetologist told me once this area here is the most important to make sure you always moisturize because when you get older that's the place you're gonna get your face lift. Oh my gosh. Um I just thought it was hilarious, but hey, who knows? Maybe someone does decide at one time to do that and that's completely fine. 
but yeah, protect the skins that you've got now so that everything is much easier down the track. Now we're just gonna put that into the skin. I swear I will tame my hair later, sorry about this. Um, that feels nice. Feels slightly oily, but in a watered, oily way. Um, nice. Might let that dry also. For I personally do have problems with breakouts recently on my back, and I would also like to make sure that I am always keeping the skin smooth on the body. Um, so this is the salicylic acid 2%. And I just, I'm just trying this. I want to see what happens. I'm going to put on my hands. Um, I'm going to put on my arms just to see how my arms feel. Because we don't often exfoliate those skins unless we're using the, the loofah in the bath, the, the mitts or anything. But they're not very deep, to say. And they say that you should be changing your, your exfoliating mitt um like just a couple of weeks and i feel like it's a little bit impossible sometimes um especially when some of the products are pretty pricey um yeah so i want to try something different that actually exfoliates my skin for me without having to rub it well you're gonna have to rub it later and then we just put on the back I'm not being too specific on these because I think it doesn't matter too much. It's just, you know, the test area. Oh, yeah, another hand. Anyway, okay, I think it's enough. Here too, because why not? Okay. Mm -hmm. 